This video was sponsored by Amazing Gadgets. They help you make the best purchases on Amazon and feature tons of amazing gadgets that are must-haves in my opinion. Their link will be down below in the description, so go ahead and check them out, give them a like, and tell them Alexson sent you. Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. We're finally back with another episode, and I just truly want to say thank you so much for all the amazing support you all left on the last episode. I asked for 150 likes for a challenge that if we reach, I would live stream, and you guys decided to destroy that and reach over 200 likes in a matter of one day. That to me showed me just how much you guys love and support this series, and it was truly mind-blowing to see that. So, like I promised, I will be live streaming this week sometime around Wednesday so stay tuned for that if you want to be notified make sure you hit that little bell next to the subscribe button so you can be part of the notification squad but without further ado let's go ahead and see if we can reach 150 likes one more time if we can do so I will try to live stream a few more times this week because I know how many of you guys enjoy that and for those who are curious to know where I live stream I actually live stream on YouTube gaming so really all you have to do is check out my channel and you might see me live this Wednesday which I will try my best to do because I promised you guys I will be live streaming so what we did in the last episode was we actually worked on a bridge connecting to the docks many of you guys showed tremendous support about this and I was really glad you guys love this build it's still not complete we will work on it a few times more in the live stream and live it up a little bit to its expectations by adding some more decorations because you guys said this path was horrendous so I totally agree this is not even a finished path but we still have some other things to fix around here but it is really coming along so I did a little bit of work on this storage room, and why I say storage room is because in the last episode, many of you guys in the comment sections have given me the advice to make this a storage room building, and that's what it's going to be. However, I do need some more advice on it because I don't want it just to be a bland old storage room. I want it to be a storage room for specific stuff. So if you guys in the comment sections can let me know what specific items I should store in this storage room, that would be absolutely fantastic. And I do have another structure in the making that we won't work on today, but we will work on in the future and we will work on a blacksmith today because a lot of you said we should definitely make a blacksmith and we will definitely do that in today's episode we'll see how far we can get with that but to, for now we're gonna start working on this storage room all I'm gonna do realistically right now is just add chests I don't have any other plans for this building because I don't know what I'm gonna theme it yet and that's where you guys get involved and let me know in the comment section what exactly I should theme this storage room what should it be exactly uh, and you know that would be fantastic we'll definitely Definitely work on it in the next episode and give it a little bit more of some life to it because right now it's just a box with some chests in it so yeah it needs a little bit more I did do the roofing though and it does look quite nice I'm pretty happy with it uh, I don't know if I'm gonna add uh, another uh, like level to this building I might just keep it open how it is because I don't mind it but we definitely could try to put a second floor to it and add some more chests I don't know what you guys think about that definitely let me know I definitely will check it out in the comment sections so yeah that's something I'm looking forward to try and in the meantime, I also wanted to talk about a few things as well. If you guys don't know, I do have my own Minecraft server, and it's going to be coming out sometime late June. Uh, we do have a Twitter for the server and an Instagram, and the server is called The Den. It's going to be awesome. It has everything from custom mini games to a really cool zombie RPG world. So I'm really hoping you guys are excited for it just as much as I am. Yeah, if you guys could do me a great favor and check out the links down below in the description for the the den we have a twitter and an instagram it'd mean a lot if you guys can go ahead and follow us that would show us great support so yeah so this is pretty much the storage room uh i'm gonna leave it like this for now i don't have any more plans for it besides just putting some chests and making a little quick design but we will be adding some more stuff like around here the flooring and all that beautiful stuff that you guys will see and and the windows and all the little details but not in today's episode because as I said, I still don't know exactly what we're going to theme this storage room building. So, let's go ahead and start working on the blacksmith area because a lot of you guys have been saying to work on this and you thought it would be a cool idea. And I definitely agree. I think it would be really awesome to have a few furnaces over there and to really make this uh, uh, blacksmith area kind of come to life. Now, I think it's the first time actually where I'm actually building a blacksmith area 
in any of my survival let's plays. So this is going to be a first for me. I don't know how it's going to turn out. I have a basic idea for it. It's not going to be closed in like all these buildings. It's actually going to be really just an open room with the roof on it. So uh, it's going to take some time to make it look good. But hopefully we can get uh, a starting work on this uh, blacksmith area. And also, guys, the fishing uh, dock AFK room is coming along as well. I didn't do any work on it recently. But like I said, it is taking shape. I did a little bit more of AFK. I got more fish. I do want to get myself uh, some better enchants on a fishing rod that we can actually use and get ourselves some better loot. But uh, I'm pretty happy so far with what we've been getting from this fishing room as well. By the way, a lot of you guys said the mending on the diamond sword was actually really rare, so I was really happy I got that. And I forgot to show you guys I did get some more enchants on my diamond pickaxe. I made a new one and we have efficiency 3, fortune 2, and unbreaking 3, which is absolutely fantastic because this one was quite dead to be honest with you guys so that was pretty much it uh for any of the other enchants and yeah so looking good so far like i said this building i don't know exactly what i want to do with it yet uh i was debating if i should turn this into the blacksmith area but i might just make it like a mining house i don't really know Again, give me some more feedback on this building and what I should do. But let's get started on this project. So as you can see, I already started to do some basic stuff by adding the sides of this little open room, which you guys may not even know what I mean by open room, but you will see in a bit. First, I want to make some more uh, stairs. So let's get ourselves some more cobble. Do I not? Did I not bring any more cobble with me? Oh my gosh. All right, that's all we need. Six is more than enough. I am actually surprised. I only brought a little bit of cobblestone. So, all right, rip that. So let's just continue to do what we have to do here. So what I want to do is just use slabs for the roof. And we're just going to use oak slabs. And it's going to connect from about like up here, I'm thinking, would be a good height. I don't want to have it too low. So I'm thinking something right about here would be a perfect height for this. Let's see. Yeah, that's about perfect. So we're just going to connect this with the environment and really not do too much. Give it some support as well and see how this works out. This is my first time trying this, so I really don't know how it's going to turn out. It could be possibly very, very cool and unique or very bad. So we're going to find out. If it doesn't turn out to be really nice, I'll probably take it down and work on it more during a live stream or in the next episode. But I wanted to give this shot. I saw some inspiration for this idea from other people's Let's Plays and just Google Images as well. If you type in, type in blacksmith, some people actually make stuff looking like this. So I thought it was really cool. Is it actually turning night? Oh my gosh, rip. All right, let's go get our bed real quick. I forgot to carry the bed with me. You know, that's something I have to do more often. And actually, someone did say in the comment sections what got me laughing was to put at least a bed in every single building in this world because you know what I think that's a great idea because now I don't have to go and and fetch a bed just to sleep in so it turns day uh, I hate working in the night because one there's just too many creepers and mobs to just worry about I'd rather just have it stress-free and just build without worrying about any any creepers showing up and blowing up my build you know that's happened to me in the past and I've learned to not fail again miserably like that so that's just a living and learning experience right there so yeah so far so good and a lot of you guys were saying, how am I so good at Minecraft survival? I mean, I'm just really lucky, I guess, if anything. You know, I haven't died yet from any creepers or any mobs, but I've came close a few times. So I can't say I'm, I'm the best at it, but it is funny that you guys have been picking up that I'm actually quite good at it when I'm really just kind of lucky at most times. But again, yeah, we're just trying things out. So let's see. So far, you know, this looks quite miserable, but it could turn out to be something better in a few. Uh, let's see. No, it's not bad, actually. I have an idea here. I don't want to close this up to the top. I'm thinking of actually maybe just putting fences connecting to the top. That'd be kind of interesting as well to see. Uh, let's try to close that in over there. Perfect. You know what? Let's take down that leaf because I kind of want that to connect all the way. Same with this. And same with that one. Perfect. That's enough for me right there. Uh, that block should not be there, actually. We're going to take that back down. Uh, now I do want to add the cobblestone wall to connect to the top. Hopefully the slabs work right now. I hopefully didn't mess it up. Okay, I didn't. That's good. That's a good start so far, Alex, and I'm pretty happy right now. All right, sweet. It's coming along well. Smooth so far. Usually I mess these up sometimes. There we go. We ran out of cobble. That's where the bad luck hits. So I have all the cobble back at the other chest room, which really was not well planned for me. I should have brought a lot more. And actually, if I'm not mistaken, I should have a few in the fishing room chest that is not good 
So I definitely should have brought some more with me. Let's go snatch some real quick. Shouldn't be a big deal. But um, as I showed you guys, it's going to be an open room. I think you guys are starting to get a vibe for it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let me know in the comment sections. Like I said, feedback is the number one thing for this series I'm looking for just to improve my building. If you guys don't know, the main reason I started this series was specifically to improve my building skills. You know, I've never been the best builder ever. And I think this is the perfect way to just help improve that. So I think so far I'm getting better. It's just a, it's a slow journey, but it is, it is becoming something better. So I'm happy to see the improvement so far. All right, let's go ahead and make some more stairs. I'm just going to use all of it. There we go. As many stairs as I possibly can make. There we go. Or not stairs, but, uh, wow, I said stairs. Th th there's a new moment for Alex. And okay, I meant cobblestone wall. And I'm thinking actually this should connect over there. I think I should move this and move it over a bit. So let's see. Let's make some more. Oh my gosh, I keep messing this up. Actually, I should have one extra on me that we can actually just use right now. So we'll just place it right there. That's perfect. We'll take these blocks down and we'll fill them in with some cobble and some andersite. My two favorite blocks to work with at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with that. That looks pretty good. And now all we have to do is connect the wall and bam. You know what? I'm happy with this design. So far, so good. You know what? It could be kind of cool just to continue this connecting downwards just to follow that trend. But you know what? It doesn't really look too well because it's connected to this wall. So for now, I think we're just going to stick with the basic design and just work with what I have right now, which is just keeping this wall together. Not like that, but there we go. Oh, I do want to add some stairs, actually. Do we have any stairs besides stone brick stairs? I have a really unique idea. I think this will look kind of cool just to give it some more texture to it. Let's go ahead and add some. I wish we could make andesite stairs. That would be really, really nice, but it looks like we can't. So we might actually just work with uh, the stone brick stairs, which aren't really too bad. Uh, I think it will still blend in really well. I have so much stuff in my inventory, I just realized. It's pretty ridiculous. But I was thinking of doing something like this. It adds a little bit more to it, makes it look kind of interesting. Just at least one, because obviously I can't add too much more. Uh, let's try to do this, actually. Maybe put it like that. Yeah, that's that's a bit better. Just to mess it up a little bit, make it look a little bit used, beat up. Uh, we'll do the same thing with this side right here. There we go. Maybe from the inside it'll look better. So let's try to do... Actually, no, that doesn't look too good. Let's put that back, and let's go from the outside. I think the outside is the trick here. So we'll put one right about there. And there we go. That looks pretty good. Just a little bit of some texture to it. Like I said, uh, it does look better when you add something more than just having a flat wall. I don't know. That's just what I built, picked up on, and I think it looks a little bit better. We're going to do some more to it, but so far, so good. I'm liking it. Not too bad. Now, let me know if I should remove this tree and fill it in completely with oak. I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of cool. But, you know, let me know in the comment sections what you guys think. I'm going to take down all this dirt, actually. Uh, remove all of it and put just stone flooring because I think that's the best way to go for a smelting area I'm gonna add a lot of texture to this flooring. Hopefully it works out quite well I have a little idea for it and I think it'll work out just well for what I have in mind right now And our inventory is just stacked on stacked. Let's make ourselves a small chest so that we can actually store in here I think I should have plenty from the storage room. Yeah, I do good thing I did not waste any more material for that. All right, let's put a little chest right next to this bed and just store in some of this stuff that I just have too much of. Just an overwhelming amount of stuff in here that I can't even keep organized. There we go. Let's take some of that out of there. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Some dirt. I will use the oak, though, possibly. And I want to make sure I have enough for flooring. I have stone brick, which is what I was going to go with. That's perfect. And I wanted to stick with using some of this... Uh, some of this wood kind of inside here. So I think that's good enough. I don't want to add any more wood inside here. I think the roof is enough for that. But let's start and putting the flooring. And I'll show you guys what I mean by that design I had in mind. So I'm just going to start kind of putting these scrambled around. Just kind of give a little design. I'll show you guys. It's not going to be just this block. It's going to be a mix of different blocks as well. And that's good enough for that. Let's go ahead now and add. I think I was going to go with polished andesite. I think that would look kind of cool. Yeah, that's definitely much better. We'll add a few of these, and then we're going to add some, maybe, I don't know, let's see, what else do we have in us? We could definitely add some mossy stone, and we can definitely add some andesite. But what I had in mind was to actually add some stairs, some stone brick stairs within here as well. I'll show you guys why. I think it looks cool. I've done it before, and I really like the outcome of it, so that's what we're going to try for sure. All right, let's put some uh, andesite, actually, some, let's, yeah, instead of polished andesite, let's mix it up a little bit like this. There we go. Perfect. 
just adding a little bit of design to it. I always like to make these like this. It just looks better, I think. Uh, and now for the stairs. This is what I meant. I think this looks kind of cool. When you do this, I feel like it just looks a little bit more beat up and used up, and I, I think it looks great. So that's what I'm going for right now. Let me know what you guys think about it. Obviously, I can always take it down if it doesn't look too good, but I think it's cool. I do want to take a few of this down, though, some of this uh, dock here. Maybe add a bit more stone. I feel like it's just too much. That's probably about better. So uh, let's add ourselves some more stuff here. Uh, let's see. One can go over there. Some smooth or some andersite. All right. Let's take that one down. Actually, we can put probably. Let's go with just some stone brick right there, and then we could put ourselves maybe another stair. No, let's just put some andersite right there. Yeah, that's good enough. I'm pretty happy with that. Looks good to me. And then we're gonna have furnaces in here, which I want to add right now. Let's take down some of this. Let's try to open up a little bit. This is a bit too much dirt possibly for for this room. So let's actually clear it up a little bit. I think it would be better off if we clear it up a little bit more maybe. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? We could take down some of this. Uh, I don't think it's a big deal if we take it down for the most part, almost all of it completely. Because it will give us some more space to work on. Um, and I think that's good enough. So let's actually continue to work on this floor. I didn't really think this through that much, the floor. But I think it's coming along well. I'm pretty happy with it. Not not too shabby. Uh, let's see. Let's figure out this design again. So we'll put some of these around here. Oh, no. Not right next to each other. That's one thing that you guys should not do is put any blocks that are really similar to each other. Besides keeping the theme. Like, for example, I started off with the stone brick. And then I worked around and adding all the little details around here. Which I think worked quite well. So let's get some stairs as well. We can use some from around the corner here. You could probably put one right there. And that's probably good enough for that. So let's see. What should I add here? Let's go with... Uh, let's go with stone brick. Stone brick should be enough. Over here we can add some andersite. Not that though. That can go. And let's put the block right there. Perfect. I'm happy with that. That's good so far. And over here we can do the same. Uh, yeah. All right. Cool. Coming along well so far. Nice. All right. I'm happy with this. Now what we're going to do is I did bring some furnaces with me. And I brought an anvil as well. So let's take the anvil. Let's take some of the oak. Or, yeah, some of the oak would be nice. And let's see, anything else that I really want to use? I think that's good enough for now. But, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this basic design so far. It's not done yet. I still have plans to make this look much better. Obviously, I want to add, like, some tables. So, I'm thinking we could definitely make some slabs for cobblestone. I think a cobblestone slabs would be nice. I have enough for that. So, let's, let's make a few. I think that's only going to give me six, which is not too bad. Uh, I could also use the uh, the cobblestone wall. That would be kind of nice as well to possibly use as a support. Let's see how this looks, though. If we do this, and then we actually add within here some type of pretty much like, uh, let's see, if we get our furnace. So we've put our furnace in here. Just kind of mix and match a bit. And uh, we could possibly add... Actually, don't know. That doesn't look too bad. Is it turning night again? Oh my gosh. I honestly feel like the night goes by really quick in here. But uh, this is not the final design. I'm still trying to figure out what would look nice. Oh yeah, we could definitely add a chest as well. Like maybe a chest on the top like that. That doesn't look too bad. Uh, over here, we could probably take it out and put instead maybe... Let's go with not another chest... But maybe even just leaving it like that. I don't know. I'd need a bit more of some time to think this one through. You know, when it comes to designing, I don't usually think it through as much. So maybe something like that. I don't know. We're going to really have to think this one through. But it's turning night again. I want to get some rest because, like I said, I'm not good with working with any creepers or, or mobs around me. But uh, I, like I said, guys, I'm not really too good when it comes to designing on the point. But... So far, it's coming along well. I do like the overall like uh, feel of it, so that I'm happy with. But the interior design is going to need some help for sure. Uh, let's put our anvil somewhere like right there. Okay, that works. Uh, let me think. What else could we add that might look nice in here? Probably just a few chests, honestly. It would look kind of cool to have a few chests lined up like this. Um, even on top of each other like this. Just kind of randomly sorted out so that it actually kind of looks kind of... I don't know, like, just adding chests. Doesn't matter how many, but just a few, just to make it look complete. Uh, which is not too bad. See, it does actually look a little bit better. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's get some fences, though. I could always use a few fences around here for some reason. I don't know why. Sometimes it looks better just to have something randomly with some fences here. Here we go. Um, 
Let's see, what else could we do? I definitely like to get some feedback in the comment sections on what else I should do with this room. Maybe a lot of you guys might be saying to have a mine connected to this, so I have like a mining room connected to this, but I don't know. I'm not entirely sure what I should do. I definitely need to use most of my furnaces though, so let's actually start working with putting some more furnaces around here. We could do that. That doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, we could definitely probably just replace or just put another... Oh yeah, you know what? That looks kind of cool. I like that. Oh, and you know what? We could put the slabs right over it. Oh, that looks awesome. I like that idea, actually. That's quite cool. I don't mind this. Okay, so far it's coming along quite decent. Uh, just from kind of thinking this through on the last minute right now. Uh, let's see what else we can use here. Oh, I definitely want to work with a bit more cobblestone wall and kind of place them around here. See what we can do with that. Because we do have the main structure. We could definitely probably add something right there to kind of hold it. So yeah, let's actually take this down. And then add our actual cobblestone wall to support it. This wall here that's dirt is going to be changed to this type of uh, structure. Which we might have time to do now. But let's try this out and see how that looks. Alright, that's better. It looks a little bit better. Uh, let's actually take down this wall. And actually make it how it's supposed to be. But we don't have enough cobble though. That's one of my issues right now. So, we'll just mix and match a bit here. Um, yeah, we definitely don't have enough cobblestone to actually finish this design. So, we can go and get some more, which I think we have a little bit more of. So, let's actually go do that. We have a little bit more time. So, let's go snatch a bit more. I'm actually surprised I don't have as much cobblestone. I used a lot of it, actually, for a lot of these builds. And, uh... And yeah, so it's like I'm running low on that, which is something I usually never run low on. So let's see if I have any extras somewhere here. If I don't, that's just going to be bad. We only have 13. Oh, there we go. Okay, plenty. We have more than enough right there. But yeah, guys, I'm pretty happy how this is turning out. I'm definitely going to add more uh, design to the roof because it's just too flat. And you know what? Speaking about that, I do have a basic design that I might just connect right now to it. I just did this right now just so I could jump over. I'll take it out. Oh, geez. Rip. That was a big fail for me right there. Alright, actually, I just thought about this. Uh, do we have any more slabs? Let's make a few more slabs. I don't mind if this episode goes over a little bit because I do have a really unique idea that I really want to try right now. And I think it would look really cool. Definitely make it look better than what it is right now. So, uh, I want to add a little bit more volume to the roof here. It's a little bit too bland, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So, like I said, I want to add a little bit more to it. So, we're going to start stacking up a little bit more here. You'll see what I mean. And as we get closer to the edge, it's going to start to start going down to one level like this. So I'll show you guys what I mean. Here we go. This is this is the start of it. So it's going to be a little bit more volume to this roof because I feel like it was lacking it a little bit. So this would be perfect for what I want to show you guys. Let's see. That should be a fine over there. All right. You know, what? we can even connect it right around there. Let's take this block down. Perfect. No, this can go out actually. There we go. And add that back there. Cool. All right. You know what? That's not too bad. I'll show you guys exactly how it looks from the outside. But I think that's nice. We can even add a little bit more inside there. Just to give it a little bit more extra volume. There we go. Nice. All right. Let's check that out. That's like a little detail I just realized as I was walking back over. And I think that's a little bit better. Let's just jump over quickly and see how that looks. But I think that's a big improvement. That's a step up. Yeah, that's much better. Because before it was just way too flat and it didn't even look good. So I think this is better. I'm happy with that. No way. Is it actually turning night again? It can't be. Okay, good. It's still We still have half a day. I was just about to be like, how is it turning night so quickly? All right, let's get ourselves some andersite. There we go. Let's place in here, kind of complete this look uh, like I wanted to do from finally starting it now. All right, so I believe it's andersite, 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 andersite. We could leave it like that here and start working on this side, actually. Work on the back. A little bit more detail back here. Let's see. I'm going to make this all stone, which I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, let's see. We definitely could... Oh, we definitely need some stone stairs. Cobblestone stairs, actually. Uh, because I want to actually incorporate that into the wall, like I mentioned. So let's use a few of these up. Oh, there we go. Hopefully we have enough. How much is this? Four. We'll definitely need a little bit more. So we have some cobblestone to work with right now. Actually, we only have a little bit left from all of that. So, uh, no, we do. We have more. Okay, cool. So let's convert that all into cobblestone stairs. We have 24 of those. All right, looking good. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by this. So there we go. Let's actually throw some of this in here because, again, like I said, I have too much stuff. I don't know why I carry so much stuff on me. It's ridiculous. All right. So I want to add some stairs in here. 
So as you can see, we're definitely going to add something there, possibly something right here as well, like that. Actually, the other way around, it should be in here, but you're not going to really see it, so that doesn't matter. Uh, all right, you know what? We'll just do that. Okay, cool. And now we're just going to add some andersite, some cobblestone, and fill in all this here. See, you guys, it adds a little bit of uh, depth to it, which is what I was going for. I'm quite happy it's turning out quite well. I might add some polished andersite as well to this. Might need some of that. But there we go. Okay, that's cool. Maybe it's too much. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But definitely get some feedback from what you guys think about it. Let's actually take that away, the block there. Fill that in. And over here we can add. There we go. That's perfect. Same with this side here. I just want to fix it up so that you don't see any dirt. I feel like dirt shouldn't belong in this building as much. It should be mostly just a mix of cobblestone, andersite, um, and stairs and such. So there we go. That looks better right away. Big improvement right there. Perfect. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's do the same thing with these leftover grass or uh, dirt blocks. I want to use actually some stone brick, kind of change it up a little bit. So let's put some stone brick in there. I feel like that's something we might need to add around here just to change it up as well. So that's probably a little bit better. Change it up a bit. So let's take this one down. Put that there. Nice. Okay, cool. Better, much better. So far it's taken shape, which I'm quite happy about. Okay, that's going over there. And in the far back, let's add, let's just put some andersite in the far back. There we go. Nice. All right. So far, so good. I'm happy with this. It really just like completely transformed from what it was before with the dirt. See, now that's much more like it. That's just a lot better. And we could definitely add like random furnaces within here. So I could actually add one in here and see how that looks. Actually, that's actually quite cool. And actually, we could even put down here uh, a stair. Just to hold it like that. That's cool. I'm really liking this, guys. This is a big improvement. So all the dirt you see back here will be changed, possibly. But that's it for today's episode. It was a longer episode than usual. But if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. Like I said, 150 likes is the goal for today's episode. But if you guys liked what you saw so far, definitely let me know in the comment section. I truly appreciate some feedback and any other ideas what I should do for the storage rooms. But yeah, guys, it's turning out to be really nice. I'm really happy with it. And you know what? It's a good work of progress. See you guys next time in the next episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. My name is Alex, and peace out, and stay foxy.